Gold Pride is hands down one of the most expensive decks I have ever built in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. With my list costing what was probably around $300 worth of gems. And to make matters worse, the deck isn't even tier one. It is, however, a lot of fun and really strong when it gets going, which is why in today's video, I will once again be taking it onto the rank ladder to see how it performs against all sorts of decks and to see if it can get me to diamond and above. Lose and you'll lose a rank. Okay, let's see if Rollerballer can get me a win here. Let's see if we get a good opening hit. Oh, we do see the Rollerballer. We also see Emergency Teleport, which is really, really good. I am going to start with the Terror Top, though, just in case. I mean, why not, right? Let's see what happens. Let's get the Terror Top out, see if the effect goes off, draw any Ash Blossoms here, any... Well, can you ask this? Dimension Shifter. That is the worst. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Thank you so much for Dimension Shifting that. I, oh, I can't imagine what my life would be like if you didn't. We should still be good. I'm honestly going to Emergency Teleport off of this just to try to get as much possible life points down without touching my graveyard. So who do I want to summon for this? I guess the best possible bet would just be to grab Xeomine and only pop the effect to add. This is going to be very interesting. Dimension Shifter is a little, little bit of a uh, sad, sad day for me. We're not going to lie. Thankfully, I don't necessarily care about um, Speedroid or Terror Top actually going to the graveyard. Have I normal summoned yet? I don't think I have, but it's a little crazy for me to do that, huh? Like, if I just grabbed uh, Shiraka's Eye, I don't think I regret it here. I really don't. But I don't know if I necessarily want to pop the effect. But, oh man, but, I don't know. I guess I grab, uh, let me grab it, let me grab it just in case. Let me grab it just in case. And now we get to really do the talking. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, boom, we're just going to get that down. We don't necessarily care about these two, so I will just go into Chariot Carry. Chariot Carry is going to get banned, though. Chariot Carry is going to get banned, but I think right now what we mainly want to do is build up our board to try to go next on his turn. Let's get this Gold Pride Field spell out here. Bye-bye, <laughs> bro. Get banished. See ya. Oh, poor guy, dude. He never had to do that. Send a card from deck to graveyard. No, I don't. I don't think we'll be doing that this time. No, no, thank you. Gold pride. Better luck next time. In this case, I think we're just going to add a nitro head, right? Like, why would I add anything else? We're just doing this for the special summon. This is going to really hurt, though. We're going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, 20... 2300. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to get every card on board and pass. We are not trying to do this. We're only going to get the one trap card. Actually, we might get both trap cards. This is why I run the two. I know people are going to say, hey, man, that's not optimal. You don't want to open with the trap card. But you know, but you know, sometimes you don't open with the trap card. And when that happens, I mean, I, I just find myself having a good day. So Nitro Head in defense. We've got three guys on board here. I can even normal summon the uh, Shiraka's Eye, which do I want to do? I mean, it would be so easy to go into rising cart but then i i just get gate kept by the dimension shifter man we could have had it all dude i could also go into any one of these things so i think i will pretty much just summon let's summon shiraka's eye just in case dude just in case i can't really fusion summon anything here but it's nice to keep the options open we could also go into a monster effect Ooh. Ooh, do we want a monster effect negate? Mmm, maybe I get a little bit different with it. I don't... Oh, do we just rank these three up into a monster effect negate? I think we do, boys. I really think we do. Let me get a gossip shadow out here. Let me get a gossip shadow out here. I think this is the play. Get a monster effect negate out. Let's see if he can get through this board. Oh, I thought I summoned one too many times. I thought I was getting nibbed. Oh, my God. All right, Chariot Carry is unfortunately going to, to dimension her ship there. Uh, actually, no, only dimensions that one. Then we get another Captain Carry out, and then we get to draw a card. Hopefully, we get a hand trap. Oh, <laughs> Droll and Lockburn moment in gaming. Yes, that is exactly what I want to see. All right, and now on the beginning of his turn, we actually get to show off the effect of Nitro Head. So what this does, it is allows us to clog up a part of his board, and we can pop this nitro token at any time to destroy everything in the surrounding areas so really what we want to do is fusion summon almost as quick as we can except it will oh yes go ahead add a card hey go ahead add a card i don't i can't complain dude wait does dimension sifter stop this is that is that how that works i don't know if that's how that works all right so we don't activate nitro head yet obviously there's nothing to pop Ooh, ooh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so he grabs Raigeki, which is not very good for us. Not very good at all. The Raigeki is pretty rough. <laughs> Raigeki is pretty rough. I can't even tell a lie, dude. I can't even tell a lie. And I can't activate Droll and Lockbird because of Dimension Shift there. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me just let me just see what we got in the bag. We got nothing, dude. We got we got literally nothing. That's 
Unfortunate! Unfortunate, Rygeki, and I can't drill the lock for him either. Oh, life is so sad nowadays. And they all get banished because of Dimension Shifter. Oh, I hate that card. Oh, I actually hate Dimension Shifter, dude. I actually hate Dimension Shifter. Main phase two? Are we living? I didn't expect to live here. I mean, I guess he didn't want to play into Gold Pride Start Your Engines, even though I, I don't have any engine. I have no graveyard fodder, dude. Oh, so many of the Gold Prides are banished. Raigeki uh, actually just... That that was about as strong as you'll ever see a Raigeki, for real. That was crazy. That Raigeki was not, another Drolden Lockbird, though, so we actually are able to discard with Foxy Tune now. So I don't... I mean, I guess I don't necessarily mind, but life is getting pretty tough out here. Droll lock we're to the graveyard. Do we get stopped? It doesn't look like we do. Um, so we're just going to get Zeamine, and then we're going to have to activate effect, get 600 life points out of here. I guess we just grab Foxy Tune again, and then all we can really do is summon this and beat over him, and I guess that's fine. I mean, I'm not really too sure what the best play in the book here is. They don't they don't really draw this one up. <laughs> they don't really draw this one up for you. Uh, I guess I'll take the 600 attack. Might as well get that 2900, get a little get a little Foxy Tune beat down in the deck. Is this still a winnable game? I have no idea. What does this do? Oh, hey, um... Do I want that? Sure. I mean, 1,500 life points isn't going to put us above him, so I guess I'll take it. And then we just end turn and hope Droll and Lockbird and Gold Pride Start Your Engines is enough to win here. Very, very, very tough duel. Not a very typical duel, I would say. Usually, we would have already lost by now, is how I, I would go about feeling about this. Still no Gold Prides in the graveyard, which is really, really unfortunate because normally we'd want to grab Leon off the top with Start Your Engines. But in this situation, dude, this is barely a duel. Okay, okay, small world he is struggling right now small world he's got to be struggling let's see what he chooses to go for here he's got unicorn that he's gonna ditch and droll and lockbird he's running droll and lockbird too we're all afraid of super heavy samurai out here for an ash blossom do i want to droll this yeah i do why not um i don't care <laughs> is he gonna synchro summon off my nitro token <laughs> Is he going to synchro summon off the nitro token? No, he just ends phase. He just... What is going on? What, what is this? What was that? What, a, what, what? I don't even understand what happened, but we'll take it. What a first duel. All right, now we're in a position where we can actually win and get a rank. Uh, I will say, though, that duel is not usually how duels are going to go. I'm going to keep it real. That was an outlier. Turn one, we're looking okay. I never really want to see Nyan Nyan in my hand, though, so that's pretty bad. We do get a maxi, which is nice. Emergency teleport can be good enough on its own, and we do start with the trap card when... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've definitely heard somebody say that that won't happen before. It was, it was me. Uh, let's start with emergency teleport, just because we do have better luck next time. We might draw it a hand trap here we might not okay Ziamine hit the board talk to him then Ziamine hits the board we're gonna pay 600 life points get our life points down activating the gold pride way and i think we just take foxy tune here for sure but we we haven't really used our normal summon we could also just normal summon but then no no we want a foxy tune because i want nyan nyan in the graveyard that's how we're gonna think about this foxy tune for the nyan nyan in the graveyard get rid of foxy tune activate its effect ditch whoa ditch nyan nyan sorry that was almost really bad ditch nyan Nyan, get out Chiraka's eye. Oh, yes. And now we just play the game. We're on the line. Hey, I might not be that good of a duelist, but when I practice one line, I can take that one line. Boom, Rising Carp in defense mode. He's just here for a good time, not a long time. No Ziamine effect. Get him out of here. Tribute this fusion summon card. Now we're going to go into Deer Note. Yes, special summon another. And Wagon. Boom. Boom. I'm feeling very confident right now. I'm feeling very confident. Nyan Nyan in the graveyard, because why not at this point? Why not bring out Nyan? Yen. Don't forget, we can just wog on for our very good punk field spell. I'll take that every day of the week. Punk field spell in effect now. And uh, yeah, I think we just go ahead and uh, bring out Jam Dragon Drive. So we're going to synchro our two punks together. Just get them right here. Ah, yup. Hopefully we can get Shiraka's eye out as well. That would be really nice. But always activate the graveyard effect first. I almost, ooh, I almost messed up. Get Shiraka's eye out here. We need that Jam Dragon Drive. Absolutely activate after that. We can't send Nyan Nyan to the graveyard. So we're just gonna, this is literally the rare time where I think, well, actually there is, there's some benefit to going Xeomine here because we could keep Shiraka's eye out on the board. But I think I'm just gonna search out the Ghost Ogre. We're gonna search out Ghost Ogre. This is a rare time when you can search your hand trap. That's why we run the one Ghost Ogre. Uh, and then, Jam Extreme Session. Hopefully, we draw into another rank three. That'd be really good. Oh, 
yes, yes, yes. We're getting the best of both worlds here, baby. I'm gonna go gold luck, better luck next time just to add a little one. I think I wanna add the nitro head. I don't think that's necessarily crazy. Let me add the nitro head and I, let me let me just, let me try some stuff here. Again, that's 2300 though. I always, I always definitely, I push it. I push it every time. So what we're gonna do is Captain Carry. Captain Carry hits the board. Boom, that's beautiful. Captain Carry effect. That's gonna get us our other trap card. Now I'm seeing why I run the double, baby. Look at that, two of them. You, you could activate more than one of these a turn, by the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get Nitro Head out here as well. Nitro Head is just very, very good for, I don't know, making those sticky plays happen. Uh, and then we're just gonna go into Captain Carry for these three here. Gonna thin out our deck a little bit. I think this could also technically be wrong. He's gone. Hey, hey. He knew, hey, sometimes when you're just playing the game, sometimes th your opponent just goes on for 18 minutes. You know you got a scoop. <laughs> this is definitely a scoop deck, bro. That is crazy. <laughs> we win another coin toss. Okay, it's never supposed to go like this. We are winning every coin toss. The luck is on our side today. Okay, not a ton of hand traps in our hand. In fact, there's no way to lower our life points. So this is actually bad. <laughs> This is not a very good time. I'm going to be honest with you. This is not a very good time. I wish that we had one card to lower our life points. Then it would be a great time. My opponent must be looking at my opponent really trying to decide if they're going to shotgun Maxi right now. And honestly, I respect it. A Maxi would have done me in any way, but there's, there's so little I can do here other than just summon carry for the trap card search. If this gets negated, GG's well played on to the next one. I had a great time. I'll see you in the next duel. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, dude! GG's well played on to the next duel. Ah, oh, what a what a good game, dude. Good game. <laughs> It's technically not over. We have Ghost Ogre. Okay, we have one hand trap. So unless my opponent can overcome the absolute strength that is Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, then I'll surrender. But until then, we duel on. I've never had a stronger belief in myself that I'm able to win this duel. I can Ghost Ogre's like Kariba. I can I can hear them calling out to me. All right, well, we're getting cooked. <laughs> they actually hit us with the Planet Pathfinder in the current year. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy, we are so cooked. Oh, my God, bro. I'm getting done in, like, Kabasi right now. This is crazy. You know what? I honestly can't show the Ghost Ogre. I can't let him know I have a Ghost Ogre. I can't let him know I have no interruption. I'm toggling off. This is a rare play. You wouldn't see me do this very often, but I'm trying to get him to go big or go home. I need to see him come out with some big Xyz plays here. You want to play Cash Tira? You got to make some big Xyz plays. Surely, he thinks I have nothing, and I don't have anything, bro. I, I have nothing. Of course I have nothing. I, I, you got me, bro. No. No response. Nope, no response to this one either. I gotta be honest. But secretly, I do have a response. It's Ghost Ogre, the only chance I have. No response, nope, you got it. No response for me. But that's when I'm gonna tick it over, bro. Ah, uh, you ripped three cards off the top, including a Leon and two Foxy Tunes. <laughs> you got me, no, no response. It's response time, baby. Here we go, here we go, this is it. This is it, Changri. Come on, baby. Oh, wait, I can't even do anything to this. I can't even do nothing to that, dude. I guess we just keep Ghost Ogre for anything else. He's just gonna he's just gonna get another card out. Hey, I'll take my life points being lowered though. I could I could use that. I, I need to be humbled. Ow, ow, it hurts though. So. Okay, so we could rollerballer it up right now. Something fierce, something crazy fierce. But honestly, our life points are lowered. There's a whole ton of stuff we could do here. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm keeping Ghost Ogre for whatchamacallit, dude. Like a rise heart. I can't let a rise heart come out, so I need ghost. Stoker to uh to save me god this is actually rollerballer's finest hour by the way this is rollerballer's finest hour if it actually goes off i'm not even gonna lie to you but first we'll start with leon just in case just in case we got to draw anything out here this could be rollerballer's actual finest hour in the flesh special summon leon in defense mode leon will activate their effect and we'll get to summon Sp captain carry from the graveyard that's gonna let us search out that trap card we never got to before oh my god if he banishes if he banishes pinballer we are screwed the only card that we cannot afford him to get is pinballer oh captain carry's also getting eviscerated which is fine that's not really the biggest deal but that does suck and also our, our effect of captain carry gets negated which is so so cool dude please don't ban pinballer man please please i can't 
can't take it. I can't take it. Don't ban Pinballer, please. You can't do it to me. Please, please have no... Please have not played against the Gold Pride deck. Come on, come on. Why would he ban Pinballer? He doesn't even know I have Rollerballer, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't do this. Yes! Star Leon. I'll take it. Just take a Star Leon off the top. He's just getting Leon. He saw Leon. He saw Captain Carry. He's getting rid of Star Leon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, We can't Ghost Ogre that, which is fine. And now I gotta know. I gotta know. Oh, that is so crazy annoying. All right, well, it's fine. Rollerballer out. We can't even use this effect, huh? One, two, three. All right, all we need is three. Rollerballer! Roll out, dude. Get the pinballer out here. Get a Captain Carry. Get a Rollerballer. Get another Captain Carry. Three monsters used from my hand. Yeah, you already know what's happening. It's pinballer time, baby. Oh, yeah, you already know pinballer's about to go crazy. Pinballer effect activate. Um, how many... Well, I can banish three of these to get, what, 500... Uh, 1,500 extra attack? I don't think it's really worth it, so we're not gonna do it. Give me this. One, you can sit right there. Yeah, let me select another card. Give me this. Cash Tira, you can go ahead and sit right there. Yeah, another card? I think I will. Here, you can sit right there. You all can sit right there for me. Battle phase time. Pinballer, attack the Directly. Three cash tier is down. I should have destroyed one of these with Ghost Ogre, but I can't do it anymore. Wait, nine, 10, 11, 12. Do I have a 12? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll keep Ghost Ogre. End my turn. That's going to trigger Pinballer's secondary effect. Unfortunately, we can't stick around forever. Pinballer is going to hit the grave along with all three of those, but we do get to summon a Pinballer from... This is so bad. <laughs> We get to summon a pinballer. Do I want to bring it out from the deck? I guess I will, huh? We get to bring back a pinballer from the deck, which is unfortunate because we have literally no other cards. All we can do is hope that he's cooked. <laughs> that's that's it. All we can do is hope he's cooked. I probably should have destroyed one of these with Ghost Ogre later on. They're both one ofs. I don't know why I didn't. I was waiting for the Arise Heart, man. I think we just get we just get destroyed because of these field spells. Ah, oh, we should have got rid of Birth way earlier. I don't even know what I, 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 what to do. I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm I'm cooked. <laughs> I'm cooked. I think I'm just cooked. This is a very unfortunate moment in history right here. Just unfortunate. I feel like I could have played so much better. Definitely this duel is going to come down to if I played this Ghost Ogre differently, could I have won? I was so afraid of the Arise Heart that I was blinded. I was blinded. What's he going into though? If he goes into Arise Heart, I'm, I'm actually cheering. I'm clapping my feet. No! Dude, please stop summoning this guy, man. Oh, I should just take you out right now, man. I should just take you out right now. But I, I, can't, I can't. If it negated the effect, if Ghost Ogre was also a negate, I would be, I'd be cheering. Can you even use Ghost Ogre when a Rise Heart comes out? Or it'll probably just be banished, huh? So you probably can't even do that. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what it's like to be bad at the game. He's got the exact same board I took out. <laughs> <laughs> he got rid of he got rid of pinball in that second time though he was like okay okay we're not doing that unfortunate i definitely think ghost ogre could have been played a lot better this duel at this point i'm just holding on to ghost ogre for no reason but yeah this duel i guess is just an example that uh i'm bad at the game that, that's the that's the only reason this duel's included in this video can't be looking too oh 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 that is a shiny card man hey it's a rise heart Hey, at least now I'll be able to test my theory. So what I've come to realize is that this will probably stop Ghost Ogre because it doesn't even work like that. It would be banished. So technically, I probably couldn't even do it. I'm interested in seeing if that's how it works. And Ash Blossom. At least let me test my theory, man. Let me learn. No. Okay, so it, it should still work. Never mind. So at least I'm not that dumb. At least, at least it was kind of a thing I could have done. Hey, I'm still going to get my big moment in the sun, baby. This is what Ghost Ogre was for. This is, it. This is what I thought would be the best play. Hey, did I just get chain blocked? It's not working. I can't even go Stoger. What a terrible day for rain, dude. What an actually terrible day for rain. So wait, what, what, what's different about Ash Blossom then? Oh, it's just that you can discard this car. Why can't Ghost Ogre say that, man? Ghost Ogre is arguably worse. Come on, bro. Ah, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was right. Technically, Ghost Ogre doesn't work under a rise heart. Damn it. All right, GG's. Well, hey, you got to have a little defeat in every video. To be honest, though, to be honest, I do have to do a side conversation 
question why does quillbolt hedgehog actually look like that like that that is horrifying anyway speedroid terror top we've got two of them in the hand we've also got cross out designator which is very good opening just in case we see that max c this guy's on when he gains a rank so i know he wants to i know he's looking out for something here with a hand like this though there's really no way to get into the punk engine so all we can really do is chariot carry and um get our what is it better luck next time yeah better luck next time to start our life point game so we're gonna go ahead hit the deck get taka top out of here save that get the gold luck better luck next time and now i keep saying gold luck it's gold pride all right so we do have a few decisions to make here because we have leon and captain carry add a card and this is not the one that lets us ditch right all right so our life points are not lower so we don't get the ditch um so we get to add one to our hand obviously i'd feel way safer with the roller baller right because it's another possible destruction but nitro head is so good <laughs> <laughs> nitro head is so good dude nitro head is so annoying i guess i should say that it's not really that good but nitro head would be really great i don't know if i want to take that much life point damage the roller baller is feeling pretty good but you know what let's for the one time let but if i get a fusion i should have um you know what what if i take a chance and just try to pull roller baller off uh start your engines let's do that let's do that i'm gonna take a this is so greedy so right now i'm playing for the trap card way 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 later on which could be very bad but let's start with captain carry captain carry is going to hit the board captain carry is going to give us our trap card which is what we want trap card's really good start your engines Hopefully we don't draw into the next one. Also gonna get a Nitro Head out here. Nitro Head's just also very good. Again, it's gonna clog up that board a little bit. And then we're gonna also get a Leon out here, even though we can't really do much. And that's just, it doesn't get a revive effect, but that's just because it will go into a Synchro, uh, Star Leon. But we ain't even doing all that now. We're gonna set this, we're gonna set Cross Out Designator and questions, dude. Do I? <laughs> Do I go for the Speedroid Terror Top monster effect negate? Like, I could just summon this, get a Gossip Shadow out with this and Leon. That's what we would call being crazy. But do I want to be crazy? Because we technically are going to get another carry. I could get a monster effect negate and just try to be him. But is that crazy? It feels crazy. Gossip Shadow so crazy. Every time I overextend with Gossip Shadow, man. I always overextend. Am I going to overextend this time? Yeah, I am. Why not? Hey, come on. I didn't come all this way to not overextend and embarrass myself. Carry, Terror Top, Decide, Gossip Shadow, hit the board. Ugh. Just in case you wanted to try something different on me. You know I got to keep it real. All right, end phase. Captain Carry is going to... Or Chariot Carry, sorry. Chariot Carry hits the deck. Then we're going to get another Captain Carry. We don't get to search again because we already done that once. But we do get to draw. Hopefully, we draw into a hand trap. Oh! That's why you that's why you run 27 hand traps in the deck baby because you got it when you when you got to you got to nitro head effect is going to activate and when you're playing nitro head you want to activate the effect where at all oh, wait what um we do you know what we're going to cross out designator that we're going to cross out designator that we're going to we're going to just banish max c that is nuts cross out designator we don't even got to ash blossom offensively what do you have in response to that no way cross out designator max c banished Point your sword at him. We don't play with Maxi. That's a childish card. Banished. Nitro head. Boom. Face up defense. You want to try to block up whatever extra deck thing you're not going to use. So I'm going to try to summon Star Leon into that one. So we're blocking up this one. Oh, he's also playing it, bro. He's also playing it. That is crazy. That's a little nuts. All right. Now we're getting, now we're getting, it. he's also playing the gold prides. Now we're in a little bit of a nuts situation. If we pop that, we should honestly be totally fine because that's his normal summon right there. If we start your engines, he is cooked. I say we just start our engines here. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Just start your engines. I believe he's cooked. And if we get Rollerballer, he's double cooked. He just didn't draw the hand traps, man. If you're going in a gold pride matchup and you go second, you really... I mean, it's no surprise. You don't want to be doing that. Do I want to send out a carry just in case? No. We hope for Rollerballer here. We have to include the Leon because we do need three. Hope for Rollerballer. Rollerballer comes out. It's GG. Oh, Leon saved again. But he doesn't get the search. He probably has nothing in his hand hands i mean what could his hands even be my life points are lower than him so he's screwed on that measure we've got a nitro head blocking up foxy tune i mean this is just getting this is just getting i mean we could even just gossip shadow this 
which we will do. We're just going to gossip shadow this. We're going to let him draw, but I think we're totally fine here. We're going to gossip shadow this. We're both going to draw one. We have Ash Blossom in hand to be extra, 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 extra annoying. We both get to draw one. We don't draw to a hand trap though, which kind of sucks. Hopefully he doesn't get anything too crazy. So now he's going to special summon a punk monster from the hand, which is fine. Now we're going to go ahead and get into Star Leon. So we're really trying to outplay him here. He can't, Wagon doesn't even do anything by the way. And we could also just pop him right here. We could pop and just try to kill him. But my question is, why would he not already have a plan for that? Because I know the deck he's playing. Wagon is literally only to search this. He could maybe try to tune into 8, 9, 10. Let me check if I run any 10 synchros. I don't. So 8, 9, 10, that's awkward. We're not even going to... I'm not taking the bait on that one. I'm not taking the bait. Star Leon's going to come out. Star Leon's going to get rid of Wagon if he doesn't do it himself. We're not going to use that effect. No, thanks. Does he run a 10 star synchro? You have another card? What do you what, what do you run? Wait, what is he running? What are punk spell card? What do you have? Do I shut this down now? I'm confused on what he even has. All right, I'll, I'll let it go through. Honestly, I'm honestly now I'm trying to let it go through to see what he's cooking with. He just run. Wait, you run two of those. Why do you run two of those? Uh, draw one card is a little crazy. I don't think we want him doing that. Do we really Ash Blossom that? I will. Draw one card. We're just going to try to shut him out here. We're going to try to shut him out. Called by was a card in hand. Okay. So he's getting the draw. He's going to get the draw. So Ash Blossom never really was a huge effect on this game. I wonder what he got. Because he's already used his normal summon. I'm not sure what else he could special summon. We have Star Leon. We have Nitro Head. This is very interesting. If he outplays me here, this guy is just better than me. Okay. So he's going to get to special summon his other guy. So honestly, I'm going to pop Nitro Head. No, we're just going to let that go through. Okay, now we can, uh, now I'm going to gold pride star Leon. Boom, pop this. Okay, so he got another draw off me. Let's destroy that, though. I've only got 14 seconds, so I really can't play. Okay, so now I'm just going to nitro head pop, dude. Like, <laughs> I, the, the pug engine has been cooking me. I'm not going to lie. This guy cooked his way around me like crazy. I actually got outplayed there. I still don't know if it's enough for him to win, but I did get outplayed something fierce. All right, it wasn't, but I did get... Oh, God, dude, please! I did get outplayed something fierce. No, 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 wait, 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 I'm going to have to just end. I'm going to have to just end. Yes. No, 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 I know I'm greedy. No, 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 I know I'm greedy. I know I'm greedy. No, 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 Thank you. So honestly, we got stupid outplayed there. I can't even tell a lie. But now we're just going to go ahead and lower the life points for him. Get another star here. I don't know why I played that turn one, but we should be fine. Um, we're running out of time, though. Is there anything that is like obviously a good play here? We could do this. Gold pro. I, yeah, I think we just do this. I think we just star Leon our way to victory here. I'm not sure how much damage we're going to have on board. But if we pop this, absorb its attack points. I mean, we should be pretty good. Captain carry as well. Um, why not, right? I'm sure. This is going to be pretty good. Captain Carry. Let me just banish these real quick. Maxi, do I care? I don't think I do care. Let me get that pop real quick. Let me get that pop real quick. I think we should have enough damage on board to just win. I'm just going to ban... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to banish most of these. 3,800, and that is enough damage to win out. All right, and so that's, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to attack. <laughs> I don't know if, he, if this guy has anything that could win here, but let's not let's not overplay ourselves. Let's just star Leon and win. That was just gold pride going first versus gold pride going second with no hand traps. <laughs> and he still, honestly, he did pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I was getting a little outmaneuvered there, but we just, the advantage was too strong. Let's go into one last duel. One more duel. No way. Oh my God, dude. I am the luckiest guy alive. I'm the luckiest guy alive, but not because of the coin flips because you chose to spend your day with me watching this video, and I really appreciate that. Okay, sob story out of the way, guys. Let's see if we can get one last good duel in. We get to go first again, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and I'm just going to play the Jam Extreme session. Usually, you don't want to open with that. And let's get a Foxy tune. We could just send Rollerballer to the graveyard. It actually works out better for us here. We're not going to do that. All right, so to special summon from our deck, we're just going to go with Xeomine. Xeomine in defense mode. It's good to note that this is also going to put our life points low enough to get a Leon into Rollerballer play anyway. Anyway, so even if this doesn't go through, you know, we're still kind of chilling a little bit here. We don't really need our normal summon, so I might... I might just normal summon Shiraka's Eye to get this going. Let's try it, right? I mean, you know, we don't really need our normal summon. We get the Jam Extreme session for the draw. This deck is so fun sometimes. It's definitely a single player experience. <laughs> but hey, oh, we can special summon this? Oh, hold the phone. Yeah, why would I waste my normal summon then? Just in case I have to... What if I want my normal summon for something? So you sniped me. Dude, this guy, this guy had the ghost ogre on deck. Is he playing my deck though? That's the question. We still get the, 
We don't get the special summon. Um, okay, well, you know what? Honestly, it wasn't even something that I was really needing. So I'm still gonna go for this route anyway. I could be wrong, but this is still just gonna be a lot of fun. Rising Carp, defense mode, hit the brakes. Ugh. Rising Carp, here for a good time, not a long time. Zemi, thank you, but you're not needed. All right, ditch this. We're doing the standard combo here. I've walked us through this a few times. Deer Note, Wagon. Uh, we don't run two copies of the field spell. Maybe this is why that one guy does. I do not. Let me check. No, I don't. I, I knew I didn't, but I... I had to make sure. All right, so let's get Wagon and Deer Note, and then, I mean, we just we just summon this, right? I'm not gonna lie, Jam Dragon Drive. You're supposed to use this to like connect your thing, but I'll be honest, I, part of me doesn't even want to bring out Carry here. All right, remember Graveyard Effect first. This is specifically to ditch Nyan Nyan. This is gonna get our engine up and running. Jam Dragon Drive, Nyan Nyan. We are not adding that to our hand. Graveyard Drakazai comes out, boom. Nyan Nyan comes out, boom. And now the question on everybody's mind is, do I go into Chariot Carry with Leon or with something else? Let's try it. Let, let's just see what we got, right? I mean, Leon's going to get us Roller Baller. No. Oh, wait. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I thought I synchroed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to be good. And then we could also bring out Nitro Head just for the additional extra cooking. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> that board was looking too good. So what we would have done there is champion carried with these, kept the two punks for a synchro summon into a like three card bounce, I think. I don't know. It would have been a multi card bounce. It would have been crazy. That, that board was looking a little too strong. And um, man, the hard part about this deck is that it's it's hard getting into a board state where people want to play against you or play into you because with no hand traps, it's just over. But hey, I guess that's why the deck is three hundred dollars. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this though. I've been Donna Doya. I kind of want to play this deck again, but let me know. I mean, I kind of need to get up to diamond, right? I, I kind of want to take this deck to master, but I also want to play Vanquish. Ah, so many plans. I'll see you in the next video.